Today, we'll be answering the question, is Windows Defender good enough in 2020? Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. It's slowly becoming less and less of a given that you need to pack your Windows 10 PC with all manner of antivirus software, firewalls and other security software to keep it safe from malware and other threats. Many people now just stick with Microsoft's integrated security package, Windows Defender. But does it do a comparable job to third-party software? And is it good enough in 2020? To test this, we've gathered data from a few of the most rigorous antivirus testing sites to see how Windows Defender compares to other popular third-party antivirus software. We've done this for a couple of years now, so we can compare Windows Defender's performance with how it did in the previous year. Talking about Windows Defender in isolation won't get us anywhere. What we need to know is how it stacks up to the biggest antivirus programs that you've probably downloaded, even paid for over the years. Thankfully, there are several sites dedicated to comparing antivirus software on a monthly basis. These tests are based on the earliest results available in 2020, which date back to December 2019. AV tests help users make educated decisions about what antivirus they should use. They rank each antivirus on three factors using a scale from zero to six, where six is the best. The three elements they test for are protection, performance, and usability. So how did Windows Defender fare? Pretty well, it seems. In December 2018, Windows Defender scored six for security and 5.5 for performance and usability. In December 2019, Windows Defender maintained its perfect security score, while bumping up its usability to full marks too. That's a marked improvement, especially as out of the 18 AV apps tested, only three of them, Norton Security, Casper Sky, and Bullguard got top marks across the board. In real terms, according to the AV test, Windows Defender currently offers 100% protection against zero-day malware attacks. It's particularly improved by cutting down on false flags, confusing only two bits of legitimate software for malware. For perspective, the industry average is three, and this time last year, Windows Defender detected seven. There wasn't even a huge amount of room for improvement last year, but Windows Defender has managed it, now ranking among the best of the best antiviruses in the world. It's hardly representative to look at just one website though, as AV tests means of testing and criteria will differ slightly from one another. On that note, another popular website for antivirus testing is AV Comparatives. Can Windows Defender carry its impressive form over to this site? Looking at the real world protection tests, the results are very good, and a crucially solid improvement on the same results over last year. Windows Defender was this time just one of two antivirus software, alongside Avira, not at all to be compromised based on the 703 test cases. Windows Defender has continued its improvement in blocking user development malware. So malware, where Windows gives a warning to the user, but still gives the option of executing it. In April 2018, the rate of user-dependent malware was 3.6%. In July through November at 2018, this dropped down to an average of 0.8%, and now it's improved just that little bit more to 0.7%. In compliance with AV tests, Microsoft has registered vast improvements in avoiding false positives, but it's still laboring quite a long way behind the pack here. Its 58 false positives are a big improvement on the 106 last year, but it still detects more than double the amount of false positives as the second worst in this area. Better safe than sorry, we guess. Much better than it used to be. Small hiccups aside, historical data on both AV test and AV comparative shows a marked improvement in Windows Defender's performance over the years. Back in October 2015, Windows Defender received the joint lowest rating for protection, 3.5 out of 6, amounting to just 95% of protection against zero-day malware attacks. This was an alarming 80.5% in September 2015. The industry average at the time was 97.2%, so Windows Defender was decidedly trailing the pack. At AV Comparatives, meanwhile, Windows Defender had a 3% compromise rate from July through to November 2016. Given that it now has the rare achievement of not being compromised at all, this is an impressive improvement. 
Even just a few years ago, you'd have been laughed off for suggesting that it was enough for you to sit back, install no third-party AV software, and let Windows take care of defending your PC. While we wouldn't encourage complacency, Windows Defender is now well proven as a viable antivirus option unto itself. You can always be super cautious and bolster Windows Defender with a good free antivirus like Avira. But with Windows Defender now ranking among the very best when it comes to security, then there probably isn't much need. The only way in which it seems to lag behind is its speed and performance and false positives, which have no bearing on your security. Do you need to worry if all you have is Windows Defender? No, not anymore. However, the malware landscape is always shifting and we'll keep an eye out for developments that suggest otherwise. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.